Material Jetting Material jetting is a process where 3D object is created by dispensing droplets of a photosensitive material layer upon layer that solidifies under ultraviolet UV light. Note, material jetting utilizes the same principle as photopolymerization to cure the material. Material jetting 3D printers can vary in complexity and methods of controlling the deposition of material. The material is dispensed onto a build platform using either continuously or with drop on demand DOD methodology. Continuous system allows for a high level of droplet control and positioning. Droplets which are not used are recycled back into the printing system. Unlike a continuous system, in a drop on demand, droplets are dispensed as, as and when needed by a pressure change in the nozzle from thermal or piezoelectric actuators. Material jetting 3D printers comprises following parts. Note, you will see a schematic representation of material jetting printer. Material reservoir container. The container carries thermostat photopolymers in a liquid form. This can be part of the print head. Inject print heads. Typical drop on demand print head comprises a reservoir, ceiling ring, piezo elements, and silicon plate with nozzles. Print head consists of hundreds or thousands of small holes called nozzles, where each nozzle ejects hundreds and thousands of droplets per second. Note. Industrial printers normally have several print heads with each carrying tens of thousands of nozzles, each depositing very small droplets of 10 to 20 microns in diameter. Print head traverse system. Two axis traverse system allows print head to travel along X and Y plane parallel to the build platform. UV curing lamp. Curing lamp usually located next to the print head to cure the deposited material. Build platform with elevator. Build platform supports the object being printed and can travel vertically in Z axis with the associated elevator mechanism. Workflow 3D digital data is supplied to the printer similar to other additive processes. The print head positioned above the build platform travels in XY plane and hundreds of tiny droplets of photopolymer liquid are deposited to the desired locations in accordance with the supplied digital data. A UV light source attached to the print head cues the deposited material and produces the first layer of the part. After the layer is solidified, the build platform moves downwards with a layer thickness and the process repeats until the whole part is complete. Support structure are often required in material jetting and need to be removed using a sodium hydroxide solution or water jet. Materials The material jetting process uses polymers and plastics. Polymers such as polypropylene, high density polyethylene, polystyrene, polymethyl, methacrylate, polycarbonates, acrylonitril, butadiene, styrene, high impact polystyrene, electrochemically degradable polymers. Advantages Can produce smooth parts with homogeneous mechanical and thermal properties. Delivers high dimensional accuracy. Low waste, better utilization of material can print multiple material parts and colors under one process. No additional post-curing is required to achieve optimal material properties. Note, this is due to very thin layer of droplets facilitating efficient in-process curing. Minimal or no post-processing required to enhance functional and aesthetic qualities of parts. Disadvantages Support material is often required. Materials are limited by viscosity and ability to form drops, mainly suitable for non-functional prototypes due to poor mechanical properties. Mechanical properties degrade over time, 
expensive process, economically not viable for every applications. Applications. Accurate prototypes for visual and form fit testing. Casting patterns for the medical, dental and jewelry industry. Medical models and visual aids for training doctors and surgeons.